Miami going on the road to the Swamp to take on the Florida Gators is one of the biggest games of the college football week one slate this year. Miami currently is a three-point favorite going into this matchup. Here are my early thoughts on this game. Whoever loses this game is going to have a lot of heat on them. Billy Napier, he has to win this game more than what Mario Cristobal has to do because Florida has the toughest schedule in college football this year, and you would like to start this season out 1-0, which would give you a huge morale boost if you're Billy Napier in that locker room, and it would give you a lot of confidence that if you can beat Miami, you can win the majority of your games when you're playing against teams such as Kentucky, middle-of-the-road SEC teams. Miami, on the other end, they need to win this game because they are expected to beat Florida because... To be honest with you, Miami is just a way better team than what Florida is going into this season. And that's not being biased. It's pretty fair to say that. You got the advantage at the quarterback position. Cam Ward was one of the best quarterbacks coming out of this past transfer portal cycle, if not the best. And he's one of the best quarterbacks in college football right now. Graham Mertz is solid, but he's not as good as what Cam Ward is. Miami also has Damian Martinez, one of the best running backs in college football. You got a loaded wide receiver room. You got a really good offensive line. And your defense should be heavily improved also because you went in the portal and you got a lot of Big time transfers on the interior of your defensive line. From a talent standpoint, it seems like we say this every year about Miami, but this is the most talented Miami Hurricanes team that we've seen in recent memory. Over the last decade, there hasn't been a more talented Canes team than what they're putting on the field in 2024. Going on the road, winning in the swamp definitely is a tough environment, but let's not act as if Florida's just unbeatable when they play in Gainesville. They've lost in Gainesville plenty of times. Billy Napier is not that good of a coach. Both him and Mario Cristobal have huge red flags about them, especially when it comes to their in-game game management and their clock management late in games. But Mario Cristobal has proven way more than what Billy Napier has. He's won a conference title in the Power 5 Conference, in the Pac-12, he's won a Rose Bowl. We've yet to see Billy Napier prove anything. Both these teams have about equally the same amount to prove. But Miami is expected to win this game. Miami is good enough to run the table this season, go undefeated in ACC play, win this conference, and make it to the college football playoffs. There is a lot of pressure on Mario Cristobal this year to get Miami into the postseason. And if he doesn't, and Miami wins less than 10 games, it's pretty fair to call for Mario Cristobal's job. Billy Napier, this game isn't going to be the end-all, be-all, but this is definitely a game that you have the advantage to be able to win if you're Florida Although you are at a talent disadvantage, it's not like you don't have the talent to win this game. Florida brings in a top five transfer portal class. They've recruited pretty well. You got a really good wide receiving core. You got a capable quarterback play, decent running back play. You could have a really good defense depending on if Austin Armstrong is able to help that group improve this season. But there's way more question marks about Florida heading into this matchup than there is Miami. We still don't know if Florida's defense is going to improve on the Austin Armstrong. He's still a very big question mark. Well, Mario Cristobal, you have a team that has way less questions just because of the amount of talent that they are bringing into this season. Billy Napier, the thing with him is that we need to see him be able to beat Miami with this being a rivalry game. This isn't 2019. You don't have Dan Mullen as your head coach anymore. You got a guy in Billy Napier that has struggled to win big time games. Mario Cristobal, he's had his fair share of mishaps, but he has a proven track record of when he goes into year three, his programs ultimately end up living up to expectation. We don't know if the same can be said about Billy Napier. There are big implications in this game. This game is going to be a tall tale sign on determining how the season goes for both of these programs. To me, if Florida loses, I still don't see anything being different if you were to win this game. 
Because when you beat Utah at home with Anthony Richardson a few years back, your season still ended up being a massive disappointment. You barely made it to a bowl, a bowl game that year, and you got blown the hell out by Oregon State to end the season. But if you playing at home in this game, you have the advantage because we know in college football, the majority of upsets occur when you have a road team that has the talent advantage going up against a team that they may not be as talented as that road team. But since they're playing at home, that crowd, that atmosphere is what kind of helps swing the game in their favor, depending on how the ball bounces throughout this thing. But I don't th expect this to be too close of a game. I'll be surprised if Miami doesn't win this matchup by at least 10 points. That's how good I feel Miami's going to be this season. Florida has way too much to prove. We don't know how good their interior defensive line is going to be. They brought in transfers such as Penn transfer, Joy Slackman who was the Ivy League Defensive Player of the Year. You brought in some really good guys in the secondary. You got a freshman All-American back there at one of your safety positions. But cornerback is a huge concern. You don't know how good your linebacker play is going to be. There's way more question marks about Florida in this game than there are when it comes to Miami. Florida fans have told me very often when discussing this game that, well, Cam Ward... You don't know how good he's going to be week one because you don't know if he still has good timing and chemistry down with his wide receivers and he still is learning a new system. Cam Ward is not learning a new system. He's played in an air raid offense going back from his days at Incarnate Word and at Washington State. The only thing that's different is the teammates, but there's been plenty of transfer quarterbacks that have come in and dominated their first year with new teams. The concerns for Miami in this game is that if this is a one possession game and we got two, three minutes left in this game, do you trust Mario Cristobal to make the right decisions? You can also say the same thing for Billy Napier. It's kind of like Mario Cristobal and Billy Napier are about the same coach. When they look in the mirror, they see each other. But Mario Cristobal is a slightly better head coach than what Billy Napier is. Billy Napier has yet been able to prove that he can build a winning program in a Power 5 conference. Florida has some really ugly games due to ugly play calling from Billy Napier, which is a big concern that I have. Mario Cristobal doesn't call the plays. Shannon Dawson does. Shannon Dawson is one of the better offensive coordinators in college football with way more consistent quarterback play than what they were getting out of Tyler Van Dyke and Ja'Cory Brown this year and Cam Ward. That offense is going to be really good. Miami's defense should be good enough to get some key stops in this game because it's not like Billy Napier's offenses have been setting the world on fire. But if this does end up being a close game, then I would like Florida to win it. This is a game that going into the fourth quarter where Miami late should be in full control of this thing. And if not, you question if Miami can walk away with the win. I get it is a rivalry game, but with how talented Miami is, there's no reason why they shouldn't be able to pull away late and win this thing by at least a touchdown or 10 points. If it's a close game, you should be feeling really good about your chances to win it if you're a fan of Florida, especially with you having the home field advantage on your side. But me personally, my early prediction for this game, I'm taking Miami to win 31 17 is my final score prediction. I don't really expect this thing to be a ball game late in the fourth quarter. Miami should pull away. They are the better coach team. They got a more talented team. But what Florida does have is the home field advantage.